What's going on my friends? This is Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U and today we're going to talk about smart breakers. So a smart breaker is a breaker that can be remotely controlled and operated by a monitoring service. They can be controlled with really low voltages over network cable from somebody sitting in an office a thousand miles away. And there's even breakers that are smart enough to tell the operator if there's a problem with the load, they can monitor the load that that breaker is feeding and have diagnostics and understand what's going on if that piece of equipment is about to fail. Every smart breaker is going to have a load terminal, just like a normal breaker would. There's going to be a screw that you put your load wire on. Uh, they also have a low voltage connection to them though that you have to run a separate network cable to. Well that low voltage connection goes to a controller that's in the panel. So the controller is one component. It takes Ethernet in, it also has some outputs that it can control each individual breaker with a DC pulse. Where it gets that low voltage DC pulse is from a power supply that's also in the panel. Whatever the voltage is, it's going to transform from that uh, line voltage that's coming in to a low voltage. And then from there, your loads are actually controlled low voltage. There's a DC pulse that is sent uh, low voltage to the control bus inside the panel to turn each one of the loads on or off. When a breaker goes bad, the monitoring service can tell that they don't have control of that breaker anymore. So they're gonna issue a service call to have somebody come out and replace it. Uh, you just unhook the load, you unhook the network cables, you pull the breaker out, stick the breaker back in, connect those two things again, and then you call monitoring and say, hey, I've got everything hooked back up, do you see this breaker? And they'll say yes, and they'll say okay, they'll let me cycle the breaker to make sure I have control over it, and they will remotely, right in front of you, shut it off and turn it back on. Uh, another good thing to test is all of these smart breakers have a little push button on them that is a disconnect switch. That little dip switch, if you look closely, says auto and manual, and what that is, is in auto, that means that the controller and the network has control over that breaker but when you click it into manual mode, it takes the ethernet and the controllability away from anybody remotely. So it would just, essentially would just operate like a regular breaker when it's in manual mode. So just making sure, you know, if you're on a service call and for some reason they don't have control of this breaker and you go and look and that little dip switch has popped into manual, we'll walk up, click it into auto. Do you have control of this thing? Oh yeah, well then that was an easy problem to fix. But if the breaker's bad, that's a whole different story. But that's it. Let me know if you guys have any other questions and I will see you in the next one.